Hey guys, today's video we're taking a look at an offering from an independent house. This is from uh, Lady in Red, Fragrance Club Genealogy Collection. She sent me, free of charge, a uh, 50 ml bottle of her interpretation of Treat of Venice. Stay tuned guys, I'll tell you what I think. Okay guys, like I said up top, we're taking a look at Lady in Red um, version of Creed of Venice. Back in March, right before the coronavirus went nuts, I sent out requests to several different companies uh, for product to sample. Uh, the only two that got back with me, uh, Lady in Red and Nautica, believe it or not. So I just did the video on theirs. But we'll take a quick look at this one. Again, Creed of Venice, you guys probably know all about Creative Venice at this point, especially you hardcore guys watching uh, fragrance communities and whatever. There are multiple clones out there. Uh, before we get started, again, Marissa, thank you for sending this out. I definitely appreciate it more than you know. If you guys want to check out the stuff, ladyinred.com, just like it sounds, L-A-D-Y-I-N-R-E-D.com. I'll throw a picture and link and everything up here. Check the description. Um, it'll take you to this website. Nice website, I'll throw that on the screen too. Uh, but basically, right now, uh, summer special, all Creed lep replicas are $24.95. Uh, no code needed for those. And then anything else on the website, it says all Lady in Red products use code SALE50, and that's good through August 31st. Uh, so if you went to purchase this 50ml bottle, um, 1.7 ounce 50 ml good presentation on it you guys are probably all familiar with the sprayers they spray a ton of juice out uh, good spray distribution and honestly the opening of this one smells pretty good it is a synthetic i won't lie to you it is synthetic it's not as natural as creed um, i'd say the the first few minutes definitely better than some of the other options out there uh, but again i won't lie to you these opinions are my own um, i'm not going to tell you it's something that it's not but um, I really like the opening on it. However, longevity was about four hours for me and it is EDP concentration. And the projection was maybe an hour. Uh, good projection that did sit closer to the skin, which actually works well for me working at a hospital because I don't want something that blasts everybody out. If you're looking for Creta Venus projection and longevity, this is not what you're going to be looking for if you're comparing it to that but you're comparing 300 plus dollars to like i said 24.95 right now uh i looked it up to get it shipped to me it was going to be 32 dollars and 80 cents after taxes uh you know the price of the bottle and everything so that puts it in a price range with some heavy competitors there okay guys sorry about that we are back uh let's hit the notes in this real quick again heavy heavy spray beautiful spray on it uh, top notes, you got bergamot, black currant leaves, apple, and pineapple. Uh, middle notes, pink berries, birch, patchouli, and jasmine. And your base, mo base notes, musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. Synthetic ambergris. Um, I do really enjoy the opening. And just where I sprayed it, it smells great in the room. Um, and even when I sprayed it when I was testing, my, at first my wife asked me if this was Creative Venice. So, I mean, you definitely get the, the Venice smell. It's pretty pretty good in the opening but again longevity uh, projection if you're looking at created venice and that's what you're looking for you're not going to get the full amount in this it's not but again the price wise you know, we really wouldn't expect to i have to say again honest reviews um it was pretty linear it didn't change a lot i didn't get much outside once the pineapple um, synthetic pineapple almost smelled more of a lemon to me but not as lemon as some some other offerings of creed uh, once that starts dying down and becoming a little more subtle it didn't change a lot for me it stayed pretty linear and like i said it did sit close to skin which worked well for me in the hospital but if you're looking for something that blasts this is not your best option so speaking of options um, i really kind of wish that she would send me something not in the Venice line because I have a lot of Venice clones and I'm not going to 
lie to you guys and tell you this is the best of the bunch. I'm sorry it isn't. Uh, those price ranges, you know, $30 price range, $25 to $30. Of course, you've got Club de Nuit, Intense Man by Armoff. Uh, one of the best Creed of Venice out there, and plus you're getting, you know, a larger bottle. Double the juice. Um, one of my personal favorites, Supremacy, Silver Supremacy. The opening on this one is probably one of the closer to the, the Creed that I find anywhere. It's just softer. This one is more reminiscent of, it's not going to project as well as this one. It's kind of in the same category in terms of projection and the longevity on this is monster. For me, anyway. And of course, one of my personal favorite Creed of Venice clones, LaVenture by Al Harrington. And this one, you get monster performance, monster projection, and it lasts forever and you're again at the same price range so I won't lie to you and tell you this is your best option um, the offerings that she had from Creed um, that was probably honestly one of the worst ones she could send me just because of what I have in the same price range that outperforms it in my opinion but she also offers uh, Creed of Venice for her uh, Creed Viking uh, Melism Imperial and Silver Mountain Water definitely uh, check them out I think it's well worthwhile uh, checking them out especially and Green Irish Tweet I can't forget about the interpretation of Green Irish Tweet Marissa thank you tons for for sending this out like I said guys if you want to check it out it's definitely worth it good presentation in my opinion you guys are all familiar with the sprayers sprays a ton of juice you could probably layer it on heavy uh, get a couple more hours of performance but for what I normally spray I enjoyed it I really did enjoy it um, I will probably give this bottle to my son. He is a, uh, you know, what is he, sixth grade now? So he could probably enjoy this. I gave him this and uh, one of my Aqua de Gio clones for school. So he will definitely get some enjoyment. And hey, if you're looking for something for high school or something like that, guys, um, or maybe even early college where you don't need it to last all day and you don't need it to blast every way out, check this one out. It would suit that very well, I think. Again, Marissa, Lady in Red, thank you. Guys, check the description and everything for the links. Uh, do me a favor. Comment. You know, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that stuff. I am the Civilized Redneck Rick. Thanks for joining me. God bless you all. Peace. Small fry squad. Give me a nod. Or maybe a thumbs up. And maybe a thumbs down. But if you do, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why, so I can fix myself and be better for the Redneck Nation. Nah, yeah.